well a lot of you guys were asking for it so here's my guide on how to assemble and operate the most advanced missile weapon system which is the aegis weapon system in minecraft the links to download the mod are in the description down below so without any further ado let's go To start building your very own Aegis weapon system, these are the following things that you are gonna need. White cable, grey cable, weapon controller, UIK43, UIK44, these two are really important by the way. And also you are gonna need a radar monitor and a spy1 radar to start it off. Now place down a UIK43 and select ADS on it. After selecting that, extend 3 grey cables as white ones won't work on the UIK43 and place down a radar monitor on these cables. Yeah. Now we are gonna take some more cables out of this as we are gonna place our weapon controller system. And this is going to be a primary weapon controller as we are also gonna place a secondary one. So after extending some cables, place down your weapon controller. Now go back to the UIK43. Place three more cables and after placing another one, select C and D. It will show you that you have to connect VLS and radar by cable. So let's do that. Extend five cables from any side and select SPY1. And after selecting that, as you can see, I am at Y level 56. Now I like to keep all my radars above Y level 70. So I am going to extend this cable by 14 more blocks. So it totals up to 70 blocks high. Now after doing that, build a 4x4 or rather a 3x3 square like this. And once you have done that, take your spy 1 radar and place 4 spy radars on all corners of this square that you just built. Looks pretty cool, right? Now while we are on the subject of radars, it's now time to place some surface radars also. So extend your grey cables, but make sure that these are before the SPY1 UIK43. And extend them until you are out of the range that, yeah, you have placed the SPY1. And now connect these cables into UIK44s and select surface radar on both of them. As we are going to place two surface radars right here. And once again, these surface radars are going to be a total of 70 blocks high so yeah once you have done that you need SPS 49 and also OPS 28 place both of these down here now it is important that you don't let any two of these or any three of these intersect each other as it won't look very good now extend some more cables from the CND and place down a WCS or the weapon control system. And also connecting the CND and the WCS, we are going to place down an ACTS. And once you do that, it will show you that it is connected to CND and WCS. Now the ACTS is important as we are going to control a naval gun from this one. Now from the WCS that you placed, extend some cables back and make it around 15 blocks long. You are gonna need that much space in order to accommodate all the weapons that we are going to attach to our Aegis weapon system. So first of all, we are going to put a missile fire control system or the missile FCS. So after selecting missile FP FCS on the two of them, make this 14 blocks high or a total of 70 blocks high and extend it up to 5 blocks around. 4 or 5 blocks sh should do the trick. And once you have done that, what we are gonna need is the SPG-62. So place down two SPG-62. And second one, there. Now once you place this, it's now time to place a naval gun. So from the SPG-62 that we placed, take down another UIK-44 and extend it up to six blocks long and four blocks high there now on this one you are going to select gun fcs or gun fire control system now 
we have three options here but we are going to use the Otto Malera gun and along with that we are going to use the FCS2 so place down your FCS2 on this white cable and also place down your Otto Malera gun on top of the white cables and look how, the, how cool that looks now with the naval gun placed it's now time to place our CIWS system to intercept any flying aircrafts, helicopters and missiles in our range so select CIWS and we are going to place two of them by the way connect both of these by white cable and bring it out a little bit and also raise it two or three blocks if you don't want to raise it that's fine too I'm just doing that in order to protect my base a little bit from friendly CIWS fire you will know what that means at the end of the video the CIWS is a pretty dangerous system in this case so place down two CIWS blocks oops yeah that's more like it and finally it's time for our missile launcher or basically the missile VLS or the vertical launch system so place down three UIK-44s on the top one select Tomahawk missiles and on the bottom two select missile VLS and now connect these by cables now I did make a little mistake here which I am going to correct just in a little while so yeah extend the white cable like this and extend it in two directions as we are going to place two vertical lock systems now this mod gives you two options for the VLS a MK158 and an MK159 now the 158 is double in size than the MK159 the MK158 can hold 64 missiles and the MK159 can hold 32 missiles but yeah look how cool these look and with that placed our system is complete now when you take a look at the weapon controller our main weapon controller by the way and you power it on it will show you this weapon system clicking on it will show you all the different components that we have attached to our Aegis weapon system CIWS, VLS, everything but as you can see one of the VLS is not showing up we have so what you can do is just take a white cable and don't forget to connect like this and once you connect the white cable like this it will start showing you two VLS two CIWS and two surface radars like this so yeah now let's fill these up and by the way one more thing to notice once you switch on the surface radars they will start spinning like this and they will go into scanning mode so now it's time to refill our weapons so take the bullet of Otomalera and also the bullet of the CIWS and in our missiles we are going to use the SM2 and the TCT which is the Tomahawk missiles now there are other missiles but we are not going to use them for this video so once you have all the ammo in your hand let's start filling up the Otomalera first so the Otomalera can take up to 66 bullets and the CIWS will take a 31 stack of rounds which will total up to 1550 rounds now an interesting feature is you cannot refill a VLS while it is active so that is pretty realistic actually so in order to place missiles you have to turn the VLS off otherwise you can put missiles in a VLS whether it is the 158 or the 159 and also the VLS takes time to shut down so yeah pretty realistic so as the 159 VLS is already off I am going to place missiles in the slots provided and do remember that you can only place similar missiles in each section of the VLS you cannot place different missiles so after filling up both of the VLS with a few missiles we are going to test our system this is going to be pretty fun so we are going to start with the naval gun now the naval gun is pretty powerful and it is very good for giving off warning rounds so what we are gonna do is we are going to go to target position set and we are going to put the x coordinate at 4000 y coordinates 56 and the z coordinates to be 0 and as you can see we can see on the radar where we have placed our marking now if i click on add this will add this position 
as you can see x y and z now we are going to assign the naval gun to this location and done and now let's go to our secondary weapon controller and we can assign yotoma ladder here done and fire now let's go to the target area to see what the yotoma ladder rounds are doing to the turret and would you look at that damage look how much damage each single round is doing heck i would use the otomolera to mine now let's go back and yeah let's turn the otomolera off you can do that by suspending the action now if you want to keep it you can keep this or if you want to remove the coordinates just click on cancel and the coordinates will be removed so near our otomolera fire basically there was this HBM space which was pre-generated. Now I have located the coordinates and I am going to put the coordinates in the weapon control system and we are going to bombard this entire base with missiles. So our first position is going to be 4183, 56 and a negative 42 and we are going to add this position and by zooming in you can exactly locate where you have placed your marker at. So like this, we are going to place a total of three coordinates that we want to fire our missiles at. And then we are going to see what will happen to that base. Now that we have locked in three positions, let's assign two Tomahawk missiles to the first two positions and let's assign an SM-2 missile to the third position. Fire. No matter how many times I see this, this is the coolest part of this mod. The missiles, when they launch, the animation is just amazing. Now let's see what happens to this base once our missiles reach here. Bam! Look at that damage. Half of the base is already gone and there is radiation everywhere due to the radioactive barrels. So this is the power of the Tomahawk missiles. And do remember this mod works best in long range combat. Now let's take a look at the CIWS. So once I have loaded the CIWS, look what happens when I place a helicopter down. I just placed it down, I didn't even fly it. That is what happens when the CIWS detects any flying entity. Another one. And this works on ducks too by the way. So make sure there are no ducks near your base otherwise the ciws will destroy your base in order to basically uh, destroy ducks so that was all i had for this video guys if you guys liked it please smash that like button and also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tutorial like this in the future peace out guys stay safe